welcome to the next session of answers workbench tutorials in this session we are solving for fatigue analysis of a plate with a circular hole in it so we will first go to static structural and double click on it next we will go to geometry and new design modular geometry Units I will choose as millimeter. XY plane, look at. I will first go to sketching and sketch a rectangle. I will give it some dimensions. Say H1 is 100 and H2 is 50. I will extrude it. I will give the depth as say 10 mm. Generate. Now I want to draw a circular hole in it. So I will select this face on which I want to draw the hole. I will go to new plane. Generate. Then look at. Next I will go to sketching and choose circle as the option. I will draw a random circle. Say I give the diameter as 15. And then I am going to position it L2 will be 50. I want to place it at the center. So this is 50 and 25. Next I will extrude. The sketch is selected. Apply. Operation will be cut material. The depth is already chosen as 10 mm. Generate. So this is a hole created in the plate. This is my simple geometry. Next I'll go to engineering data. Now since we are talking about fatigue analysis, we need to talk about the alternating stress, mean stress over here. Let me choose the scale as semi-log type so that I can see the graph here. Here you can see the values of alternating stress. If I see in megapascal, this is the value of stress generated. Now I have already made a video on this topic wherein I have discussed about a circular plate with a hole in it and all the explanation has been given in it. You can go through the video. So that explains this value of 86.2 being the yield stress for the material. So if you see this graph, this alternating stress over here is one value and it is plotted over the number of cycles of loading that can be subjected on the body. Suppose if you have a loading of alternating type from 0 to 100 to 0 and back to negative value of 100 and then again to 0. This is called as an alternating type of load. So the body can be subjected to n number of cycles. And it can be safe if the stress generated in the body is less than the yield stress that is 86.2. But suppose if you are subjecting the body to a load such that the stress value on that body is more than 86.2 then after a particular number of cycles your body is going to fail. So that's the basic concept of fatigue that is when you are subjecting the body again and again to the same type of loading and you see your body is going to fail because you are loading and unloading in a cycle. So let's see. This is my model that I am trying to open here. Now I will go to geometry and I will see the solid. The material assigned is structural steel which is the default material that is what we were discussing about. Now we will go to mesh. Sizing, relevant center, we'll choose fine, update. This is my simple meshing that I have done. I have chosen fine mesh. But this circle over here, which is a hole in a plate, it is a point wherein if you have a small crack being generated, then that is the point of initiation 
of crack propagation that is from that point the crack will propagate over your entire body generally it happens in this zone the reason being when you are manufacturing a hole you are actually going through a cutting operation when you do a cutting operation and you are cutting out the material there could be certain ends which has got cracked because of the tool interaction with the body there is a rough cutting done so when you do a cut on the body obviously it is possible that a small nick or a small cut can be left on the body from where your crack can propagate over the entire body so because of which cutting operation is very sensitive operation and when you have a hole in the plate this is the point where your stress concentration is there it is called as notch sensitivity area which means you can have a notch over there wherein you are if a crack is generated it will propagate on the entire body that's the basic meaning of notch sensitivity so now let's apply some load and check what happens to the body first i'll go to analysis settings on this side i want to apply fixed and on the other end i will apply force now this force is something that we will discuss about as we go through the analysis let's initially start with applying a small amount of force you can see this is x direction so i'll apply a force of say 10 kN then i'll go to solution i want to see the total deformation on this body because of the loading i also want to see the equivalent stress which is generated on the body so that i can know as to how much stress this load creates and whether my body is going to be in the safe zone or maybe after some amount of loading over a particular you know duration of time when you continuously load and unload the body my body is going to fail so how many cycles it is going to endure the load for i want to insert a new term which is called as fatigue because that is what we are doing we are doing the fatigue testing for this plate with a hole in it now you can see here this is the entire concept of fatigue which is shown in ansys there are various types of stress correction theory one is called as sn curve s is the alternating stress on the body and n is the number of cycles that is what you saw over here so this is your alternating stress which is generated on the body because of the load and cycles over here so this is nothing but your sn curve any stress on the body below this curve is always going to indicate that your body is in a safe zone but if at all your stress generated falls above this graph it indicates that your body is in a zone wherein after a particular number of cycles of loading on it it is going to fail so wherever your stress intersects this graph that point will be showing your condition of the body so let's get back to this and we will also talk about other theories like goodman theory soderberg theory and gerber theory these are the various theories you can take up any one theory and solve by default your sn is selected so we can go for any other type as well so you can see here this is your sn which is shown here okay let's go to this left hand side you can see here the type of loading is fully reversed fully reversed means you are going from a particular value to zero to its same negative value then again back to zero to the positive value to zero back to the negative value and this continues so when you apply a loading of this sort this is called as fully reversed loading there are other types also for example zero based zero based means you start from a particular value you go to zero again you go to the value to zero and again to the value this is only one ended load that is it is only towards the positive side whereas fully reversed means you have the loading in the positive as well as in the negative side now there are two more over here one is called as ratio you can see here ratio means your loading will be in a particular ratio like from 1 is to 1 is the ratio or it can have more now this ratio can also be changed for example scale factor is 1 here if you want we can change the scale factor to 2 so you can see the value has increased to 2 maximum loading and you can change it that's your choice so this is called as ratio and another type is history data when you have history data it means you have some amount of value which is stored and you can use that data so we are not going into that type 
we are going mainly into fully reversed and zero based because these are the type of loading which you generally see and don't forget to change your scale factor to 1 now apart from this you can see here in options analysis type the analysis type is of stress life which you are checking as to how much stress is generated and what would be the life of the body when we have mean stress theory you can change it you can see here there are four types as you can see here we'll go to goodman theory and the stress component will be of equivalent one minus type so this is what we have chosen in fatigue tool if you right click you can insert the life term which means you can see what will be the life of this body also you can insert the safety factor wherein you can see the factor of safety which is generated in this body they mean something obviously we will discuss that and we will also talk about damage so these are the three things that we are going to discuss in this analysis now i will go to solution and solve okay we will go to total deformation this is the total deformation over the body you can go to animation and you can check its animated view next we are going to equivalent stress you can see here the stress generated is 68.084 which is less than 86 megapascal. You can check the unit over here, it is megapascal. So it is less than 86 megapascal means my body is safe. Let's talk about the life. Now you can see here, this is the number of cycles that can be loaded on this body and your body is going to be safe. If your body is subjected to a stress which is lower than the maximum stress, for example, in structural steel, the value is 86 megapascal. If it is less than that, your body can endure n number of cycles and the body will be safe. If you go more than 86, your body will fail. Obviously, after performing some amount of cycles, not fail means immediate failure. Let's talk about safety factor. Safety factor over here is shown here as the design life. And this is your result 1.2661. This value, please note, if it is more than 1, it means your body is safe. Suppose if this value falls below 1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, you can say that your body is going to fail. But when it is more than 1, it means your body is safe. You need not worry about it. Now let's talk about the damage factor. You can see over here that since your number of design life is this and also the life is going to be this value, when you divide both of them, this higher value divided by the life value, you will get this damage factor. This is 1000, which means it is quite high and your body is going to be zone wherein you are going to have failure. This term fatigue damage is nothing but the ratio of design life to the available life so this is your design life and this is the available life over here as you can see now we can discuss about it by changing the value currently my body is safe so i need not worry let's talk about a higher loading suppose if the body is subjected to for example this was 10 kilonewton let me make this to 100 kilonewton and then run this solution again for the same theory for the same type of loading that is fully reversed. Now let's talk about total deformation. This is the value of total deformation in mm 0.1118. Equivalent stress is 680 megapascal. It is much higher than the value that structural steel has given as the yield value that is 86 megapascal, which means my body will not be able to have that much amount of life like it would have had if the load would have been 10 kilonewton. So let's go to fatigue tool now and check. Look at the life now. The life is only going to be 830 cycles. More than this, the body is not going to sustain. Let's talk about the safety factor. You can see here the ratio is 0 0.12, which means your value has fallen below 1, means your body is not going to have a very good life. Also, you can see here the body was designed for 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles. But life value shows as to how many cycles it is going to sustain. Let's talk about damage. Damage says it is the ratio of the design life to your 
life which is going to be available for the body. So you can see here, this is the maximum ratio which you have found. So that indicates that after a particular value, your body is going to fail. This is the maximum number of cycles it can sustain. And the life over here shows the minimum number of cycles it can follow. 830, it will definitely sustain. And maximum value is that 1.2 into 10 raised to 6 over here. But it will fail somewhere in between these two. Where? It cannot be exactly said. But it can be definitely failing between both of them. Also, you can read here the tabulated data to the right hand side. Minimum value is 1000. Maximum is these, this number. So that is how the body is going to fail. Okay, so we discussed this for a particular type that is fully reversed and Goodman type theory. Let's talk about zero based load. Means it goes from zero to a particular value back to zero and again to a particular value. We are using the same theory, Goodman. So we will go to solution and solve. Let's see, suppose if the type of loading is changed on the body, keeping the load as 100 kN, now what happens to the body? You can see the deformation is approximately the same. Equivalent stress is also the same. Let's talk about the life. You can see here the life is reduced. It has become 123 cycles, which means if you have this type of loading and that too in a zero base type, which is not fully reversed like you're starting from zero, going to a higher value, back to zero to a higher value. And this kind of cycle, if you follow, your cycles are going to be very less for which your body is going to sustain, which means after 123 cycles, body will give up. It will stop working and it will fail. Let's talk about the safety factor. You can see here it is 0.21. These are the same design life for which you are designing the body for, you know, working. This is your damage factor. You can see the ratio here. And you can see here, this is the minimum and maximum value which is shown. So this is the number of cycles minimum that it is going to sustain. And this was the other value which you found. So this is how you analyze a body for fatigue analysis and by using software you can find out the life, number of cycles it can sustain, the damage that can be caused on the body, whether your body is going to fail or not for a particular material, for a particular loading. So that's how without making a prototype and going for destructive type of testing, you can use software which is a non-destructive type of testing and you can actually analyze what will be the threshold value which the body is going to sustain. Now this is a common doubt as to how do we calculate the threshold value. Now for that obviously you will have to go for permutation combination technique that is you will have to keep on changing the value of this load from 10 to this 100 kN that I have taken. Obviously the scale is too high but you can go on taking some intervals and checking the values such that a particular value will be reached at which you can say that above this value my body will be having you know a life which will be determined value which will be not like the designed value it will be less than that and below that value whatever amount of load you apply say 15 kN could be the limit that's an assumption that I make if it is so Below 15 kN, whatever load you apply, your body is safe. More than 15 kN, this body is going to fail. So that's how the values can be analyzed. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the technique of fatigue analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.